Hello friends, this video is brought to you by Georgian Theory Concepts. Alright, let's get started. Yeah, in this video we are looking at Gantt charts. Okay, in the last video you saw how to prepare a bar chart and a pie chart as one of the methodology for presenting statistical data. Alright. Now, what is a Gantt chart? It's nothing but a bar chart that shows a tax of a project, which, uh, when each activity must take place and how long each will take. Okay, a project, for example, could be the building of a factory, a new factory, launching of a new products, and so on. You know, uh, and you may be asked as the manager. To be in charge of that project okay so we can use uh the gantt chart to plan to coordinate the projects to plan or to coordinate the projects okay so uh let's take this example and this by a gantt chart was popularized by henry gantt and that's why we name it gantt chart all right it was popularized by Henry Gantt. Henry Gantt was a management consultant. All right. So, you have been given the activities to be undertaken in the project. You have been given the preceding activity. When you look at the preceding activity, what this means is that C, for example, must start when A stop. Okay? It must start when A stops. When we finish or when A is completed. D must start when a is also completed so to do that you have something like this you write gantt charts our gantt charts so you write gantt gantt charts for the project so we have our activities okay then activity a then this is the duration very simple in the exam then we have uh, days if this month you write month all right so we have the a we stop in day four that is one two three and day four okay so a we stop in day four that is four days all right then b in day five okay b doesn't have any preceding activity so b also we start this is one two three four then five just need to extend a bit it's also like a bar chart all right but the difference is that look at c now c takes five days but it must start we are a stop okay so a stop in day four so b we start from c we start from there all right c we start from here and goes one two uh, one, two, that's six, seven, eight, nine. So that is, if you take how many days, class? Five days. That is one, two, three, four, five. So in day nine, see, we stop. All right. That is gang shot for you. C cannot start from the beginning because A must be completed before we start C. All right. So we use it to plan uh, our tax all the tax to be carried down in the project also for d when you watch d very well d we start when a stop but it will take six days okay so this is five days and we need to extend this to ten all right then d we stop where uh a starts is is completed then we extend it to ten all right class hope you are with me now look at this E is where C and B stops. Okay, look at E. We start when B and C they are both completed. Now B has already completed in day five. You can see very well. So for E to start, C must be completed. But as at the time B was completed, C was still in progress. Okay, so all you need to do is to trace use a tick line 
all right and join it with this okay that's the technicality now d can start now from here then you join it here d can start and d will take five days so five days from here is then 11 12 13 14 so one two three four five now d e will now stop in day 14 okay so this one join all right so so that is this is a, a typical gantt shot hope you remember in the exam all right now let's look at z shot z shot so if you don't understand this please go over it again it's very simple to to do all right for the z shot a z shot is a chart that display the time series data okay that is a data that is gathered over a continuous interval of time like monthly weekly yearly or daily okay for example our daily sales is called time series that occurs over the time all right so we can use z charts to display the time series of a data and it normally have three aspects the total the cumulative total and the actual data itself so this is the actual data itself all right this is the actual data so all we need to calculate here is the you have been given the total of seven days then you calculate the cumulative that's what you need now to calculate cumulative sales so we calculate the cumulative sales from the question so let us calculate cumulative sales all right so you have been given the days draw a z chart we have to draw a z chart for the so we have 500 so 500 plus so this is 500 plus 450 that is 950 all right then we have 950 plus 480 plus 480 the cumulative you take uh where's the calculator that is 1430 1430 plus 650 plus 650 we give you okay to 2080 okay 2080 plus 600 we give us 2680 then 2680 plus 700 all right we give us 3380 then 3380 plus this that's 3 lastly hope you understand class 3380 plus 750 all right we give us 4 uh 130 uh, okay so this is the cumulative all right this is the cumulative we cannot draw our z chart our z chart so to draw the z chart when you look at the highest figure here i think this is the highest figure from your data the highest figure take note then the lowest figure here all right i think is a uh, 450 so we can design our charts in that manner so it must be drawn to scale don't forget on a graph but we are just using plain paper it must be drawn on a graph on a graph on a graph all right okay class all right you do the scaling look at the scaling okay that is two centimeter this is one centimeter this is two centimeter to 500 units okay that is the scale the scaling that is the scale of the graph is two centimeter equals to 500 units Okay, take notes so that the examiner will know what you have done. All right. Now, we can, you write the days here, the days, then the units, 
that's uh, the sales here. That's the sales, okay? The sales in Naira. Take notes. You work professionally. Now you plot in. Uh, you plot in the sales, okay? Let's plot in the sales. For Monday is five hundred. For Monday is five hundred. For Tuesday uh, is four fifty, okay? Tuesday is four fifty, eight fifty like that. Tuesday is four fifty. This is five hundred. So four fifty will be around somewhere here. Then for this is four eighty around somewhere here. This is four fifty. Then uh, we have a six fifty, a little bit upper. For Friday is six hundred. We just try to do something. Then seven hundred for Saturday. Sunday uh, is seven fifty. Okay. All right. Then you join this class. You join. Okay. Then you will plot the total to the total. Start from 350. So 350. Uh, this is 400. This is 350 for Monday. You plot the total. Uh, you plot as three for Tuesday. 355, something like this. Then 4,000 for Wednesday. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 350 sorry 350 for monday so let us ignore this 355 this 3005 then this is 4000 okay 390 for 390 for thursday this is thursday then uh 398 for friday you can just 98 around there then for 430 for saturday and for on sunday okay then you join you join you join all right you join then for the cumulative for the cumulative the cumulative the first one of course is friday or monday for the cumulative on Tuesday is 950 so 950 will be around there for that's 1004 1004 uh, will be around there for Wednesday to 2080 that is for Thursday is 2080 something around there for Friday is a 260 then a little bit upper then for 3 you know for saturday and of course for this is for which is this okay so the z shots has been plotted you join you join so this is z shots okay this is how our z shots will look like all right